Hello and welcome to KMB Gaming and this episode of The Sims 4 Asylum and this special episode called Let's Build where we're going to be adding some changes to the asylum so this is not going to be a normal asylum episode it's going to be this Let's Build. Now it's going to be set some subtle changes which I will show you um, in a second but one of the main changes is that I'm going to be changing one of the characters um, because I need to add another character in but I've reached the limit to the amount of Sims that are on the lot. So the character that I've decided that's going to get the chop is Javier Damage or Javier Damage because he was the one that out of all of them who doesn't really seem to be doing an awful lot. So he is the one that's getting the chop and he is going to be turning into this new character. And this new character Hello CTR, thank you for joining, is going to be called I'm very well, CTR. Thank you. How are you? So his name's going to be Captain Hoover. So his name is Captain Hoover. Oh, I need to change that. Actually, so his first name's going to be Captain, and his last name's going to be Hoover. And it's. It's got to make sense, ladies and gentlemen. It's got to make sense. Right, so he's going to be... Male. He's going to be a... Uh, he's going to start as a young adult. He's going to have a... Hey, a brash voice. Antrip, California. Right, I'll and there's got to be a reason for that. Bye. So he's not going to be a serial romantic. He's going to be... Very much, uh, he's going to be a ch uh, no. He's not going to be a chief of mischief. Mischief. That's going to be the the wrong one. He's going to be very knowledgeable. So, so. Um, he's going to be a quick learner, but he's not going to be insane. Yeah, you could say that. I suppose it is a, a reboot as such. Right, so I don't know why I can't change his personality as of yet. But we will amend him. So let's actually, let's delete Javier. Let's let's delete him and we'll start again. We'll start with a, a fresh brand new sim. Then we can do everything that we want to. So let's add... Oh no, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's fine. So, he looks a little bit funny, that's not. So I'll start creating him first, rather. So we know his name's going to be Captain Hoover. And I think, hair-wise, I think he should have... He... Hmm. He needs to be smart. There's a reason for this, guys, and you'll see. I think he needs to be short here. He needs to be smart. Um, he needs to have a moustache. I don't think you'd survive very long, CTR, if you went to the, the asylum, if I'm honest. So, uh, no, actually, he's going to have a... Yeah, he's going to have a moustache, but he's going to have like a, a black moustache to go along with his hair. Uh, skin tone. Get him to kind of have like a kind of slightly darker skin tone. And mm, do I want to have skin detail? Yeah, I think that's kind of cool actually for what I need him to do. So hats, he's going to have a, as much as I would love to give him a Darth Vader hat, he's not going to have, he's not going to have a Darth Vader hat. This is the new one, CTRS it is. Um, 
so let's have a look at this. let's make some amendments to his to his features. We want to have a slightly bigger nose. And he needs to have like like he's he's seen seen things. Um, I'll explain as to who this guy is. This guy is going to be the uh, corporal or the captain of the asylum. So he's like the chief. And he's going to be residing over everything that happens in the asylum. And he is going to be like the sheriff, I should say, of the asylum. He's going to be looking after it all. And he's going to be the one that's going to decide what happens in the asylum, who goes where, what, who does what, and he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm going to be controlling him, not going to be controlling anybody else. That is the plan. So we need to make him a foreboding character, one that the other Sims would be quite scared of. So if it's, let's do his eyes. I think he wants to have, because it's quite hard work uh, working in an asylum, I think he needs to have kind of tired eyes. I think it's a little bit of a kind of a, a healthy looking face, whereas everyone else kind of looked a bit unhealthy. I think you can have a bit of a a uh, long drawn face. That's quite cool. Uh, maybe slightly bigger. Slightly eyes maybe that. that. Yeah. Um, ears are okay. Maybe the jawline to be a little bit kind of a little bit more pronounced I think. Right, so he needs to be, I want him to be not as buff as that because I think we want to kind of make him n not as, he's going to be strong but not as sort of um, bulky as that. So let's have a look at, so we don't want him like that. I say we want him, but he needs to be fit and he needs to be like strong and stuff so I think that let's bulk out the chest a little bit more and suck in the gut a little bit more you bring out the arms a bit right so let's think about his clothing well he needs to be wearing like a police shirt so if we can find a police shirt style ah perfect he does look very odd in that, in that one though I don't know if I like the studs that are on it Let's see if there's anything else what's that one? I don't know what Anything else that could be similar? Um, don't like the studs that are in it. That is a random question. And yeah, I suppose I do. Suits jacket with that. How would he look in a suit? Or if he wore like a Texas suit? That could be kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So let's think about shoes that he could wear. So he needs to have like smart, or even if he had like cowboy boots on. So he's like a proper Texas Ranger. And let's get trousers. Yeah. Mmm. I like that colour. Yeah, 
Yeah, I suppose that, that's not too bad. I quite like that. See, his face is a little bit too kind of happy joy joy for what I for kind of what I want. So I want his eyebrows to be a bit a bit different. I want to have kind of angry eyebrows. Not a model brow. And um, I kind of want to. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So he's a little bit kind of cross looking. <laughs> right. Um, I'm kind of happy with that. So his name's going to be Captain Hoover. We established that. His last name Hoover. Or actually, call him Sheriff Hoover. Sheriff Hoover. So he's going to be a young adult. He's going to have like a. Flexing us for bear. Zucchini Mixlin. Quite a brash voice. And I want him to be knowledgeable. Now his traits, he's got to be someone who they look up to. He can't really be anyone. So he's going to be hot headed. So he's going to be angry. He needs to be. He's, uh, neat, definitely. I think is something he needs to be, and I think I think he needs to be a bit evil as well because he's not going to treat them very nicely. So we need to just quickly amend his um, other options for clothing. So for his, so that's his everyday wear. And obviously he's not going to have a job, so don't need to worry about that. He doesn't need to worry about that. So his bedtime wear, I think he should wear something kind of old manish. I think. It's probably the word, the word I'm looking for. Something like that. Um, and slipper-wise... Um, I think he'd wear red slippers. I think everything would kind of come together. Accessories. I don't think he would wear. Uh, I don't think he'd wear anything accessory-wise on his hands or anything like that in bed. And that's him. Right, so there we have Sheriff Hoover. So let's just double check we've got all his personality right. Hoover. He needs to have like a authoritative walk. There we are. And there we have it. So, Javier Damage is no longer. And we've now got Sheriff Hoover, who is in his, sp in his pace, in his place. So we've got the seven other Sims who are the inmates and we've got one sheriff who is there to look after them, make sure they're not up to any mischief. So, I've already made some changes to the asylum, which I'll show you briefly and then we'll then we'll start working on building up um, the extension, if you like, to the asylum. And I did already start the extension a little bit. Um, so you'll notice there are some changes there already. 
um, but I wanted to stream it to you guys, so then I stopped and restarted it. So we're gonna have a look at we're gonna have a look at it and go from there, and certainly try and um, make it look cool. So what I'm going to be building, I shall explain to you in a second and show you where it is. But I will first of all, before we do that, I will show you what I've already built in the asylum so we're in if I go into build mode I'll be able to show you so if we so I have added just quickly I've added a wall behind the stairs so it kind of blocks off that a little bit makes it look a little bit neater I've also added this corridor here in amongst um, between, separating the kitchen to the TV room um, and I think it is actually quite a nice um, corridor and I've also added a downstairs now this here leads straight into what I'm going to call solitary confinement and this is where bad sims will go these sims will be put in here um, if they do anything wrong if they are um, really really naughty so if they break something don't fix it or if they do something wrong upset another sim have a fight whatever they'll be put in solitary confinement and if they are very very naughty they will go in there and I'll take the door away and they will be stuck in there for a long time without the door until I see fit to put the door back in so that's solitary confinement the only room that is in the basement so that, so that is there. So, I mean, if they want to go down there, they can, but there's nothing down there for them except just an empty room, and that's all the solitary confinement will be. And if there's several naughty sims, they'll be put in there together. And it could be that they put in, they're put in there to die. That's a possibility. So, I've come to this room here, which is which was a room that was separated they didn't really have much use I'm going to put a door in as well but I've, I've built a staircase which is going to lead up to this floor here and this floor is going to be dedicated to our sheriff this is going to be his floor and no one else's any sims that come up here will be put in solitary confinement because this is the sheriff's domain so I'm going to build a wall here and I'm going to build a wall down here and then a wall down here so that will separate his living quarters so he's going to have he's going to have a nice area to live in he's going to have a beautiful area to live in because he's a sheriff he gets paid a lot of money to run this asylum look after the retrobrates that have been put in here and yes, yeah, so he's been he's gonna have a lovely area. So this area is gonna be his bedroom, this is gonna be his bathroom, this is gonna be his study, and then this is gonna be his his own personal kitchen. This will be like a waiting room area. And there may there may there may be like a games room or something I actually might put here. If I put like a games room here, that might be pretty cool. So he's got like, you can have like a pool table or whatever in there for for his time of so relaxing. And as I said, if any other sims come up and use it, they get straight, sent straight down to solitary confinement. Right, so he's already got some wooden wooden flooring. So if we add in some wooden wooden panelling, I think. Um panelling. Let's go down to mm, mm, which one should we have? That's the same one that's in the kitchen. Quite like that one though. So he's going to have that in his study. So that's going to be his study there. So he's going to have a desk and a computer and all that sort of thing in there. Um, in his bedroom, I think he's quite a tidy, well-to-do gentleman. So I think he needs to, he needs like a a well-to-do bedroom. And for his bathroom 
I think we could have something similar to his bedroom, but have something like that for his bathroom. Uh, only one bedroom that he's he's got. He's only got one bedroom, and obviously there's there's still going to be the six bedrooms that the inmates are going to have. And the kitchen, I think we need some tiles for the kitchen. Or actually, do we, or can we have some nice, nice wallpaper? Uh, this is quite nice. Let's see if we can get a nice co colour for the... I think if we have like a nice white for the kitchen. Now what for the corridor? What if we had some chicken, definitely. I'm really confused as to why you keep asking me these random questions. So I think this one for the corridor would be kind of cool. And it's going to have like paintings and and things like that up in his up in his corridor, and for the games room, I think because he's gonna have like a a bar and stuff in his games room, I think it should look like a bar. So I think something it's like a like a red looks so like yes, definitely that's it, perfect. Right, so, wooden flooring all around this area. So, uh, we need something for this sort of waiting room area. I think carpet for that, for that area. I think some nice, some, some nice carpet. Nice colour, like a, maybe like a brown. Could keep the brown theme. What about wallpaper? Maybe if we had like a... Hmm... A brown there, possibly. That's similar to the bathroom, isn't it? That's very similar to... The, exactly the same as the bathroom there. What about this one? For the waiting room. Right, so... If we grab a door... We get a nice if we get a nice door for this area. I think for a double door I think a, I think a double door there. And then maybe even a door like this. For this entrance to his apartments, and then for the doorway wise, we can just have I think he just I think he should have a very open plan. I think he would like a very open plan and just have and then his kitchen can have a door here and then another one there for his bathroom. I think that's quite nice. Right. So. And we've got lots of money for the asylum, so we can really just go to town on what we put in there. So let's get some nice things for the... Let's, ha let's have a nice um, kitchen for him. Can I got to go with th th the theme of the... the um, the colour scheme. Let's get these walls down. So let's put one there. Let's just have counters all along this, this wall here. Even even turning it around so it, it loops around like that. And having it there. And then we get a nice, really cool refrigerator. Um, we get this one. 
to get a white one. We'll put that in, in the corner. And then if we get a, a nice cooker. <laughs> That's funny. So if we get, put the cooker, let's put the cooker there. And if we get, uh, let's get this one and put it over it. And then if we get cabinets, we put white cabinets. put the cabinets along there and then another one it's just not playing at all there another one there and then if we get some more counters and put another set of counters that's the wrong one uh, this one is it it was that one, but it wasn't that colour. Was it this colour? Yes, it's that one. No, it's not. Which one was it? Maybe it was that one, but... Ah, there you are. Right, okay, so let's get rid of this one. Move that along. This is the sheriff's living quarters. Yeah, and then put that one there. And then if we got a trash can, we just put a white trash can in there. They can't put it there. That's annoying. Um, Hmm. So why 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 is it doing that? I wonder. Um maybe if I got rid of that one. Move Ah oh, the cabinet's there. Right, so maybe if I sell this cabinet, move that along there. That can go there. That to move along a bit. That can go on top of there. That can go there. Uh, that can go there. So then we can think about Maybe we've got a trash compactor or something. That would be kind of cool. There we are. So that's his... So we need to get a sink now. So let's get a nice ornate sink. So we should put a, a random sink in the middle there. And if we got... We could put a smoke alarm because he's not as unreliable as the inmates so he can, he'll can he actually be able to cook. So if we put some lighting in there. He's going to have a dining table in here as well. I think if he needs some quite elaborate lighting I think. Have some um, 
There we are. One, two, one, two, and three. Get. Excuse me, just itching my ear. So let's get a dining table. Let's get a nice dining table in here. Right, so it's time to get the dining table in. Let's get a nice big dining table for him, even though he's going to be dining on his own. We still have a nice big dining table. I think itself has to be quite ornate because, well, not necessarily ornate, but. So let's think about trying to get it somewhere central. So we could probably. It, I would say I want it about there. And then we can get mm, a chair like that actually. So he can if he wanted to entertain some guests, then he could. And maybe get some lighting. Um, let's see if we've got anything we can put on. So, do we want him to have. So, that's like the Christmas decorations. We don't really want him to have. Oh, we could have them have some pots and pans in the roof, that would be cool. Over... Over by there, you could have some pots and pans in the roof, that would be cool. That would add to the rustic. It just happens to be when the, uh, the game is set. It just happens to be night time when I put it into build mode. Not doing it intentionally. Um, so let's get... A spice rack. Oh, that's a bit small to really notice it. It's this one. Get a bowl of fruit and put it on the table. Right in the centre of the table there. Nice fruit bowl. Oh, there we have it. I think this kitchen's done. Doesn't really need an awful lot else on the counters, I don't suppose. I suppose we could put... I suppose I could put like a. Let's look at like kitchen appliances and see. Could I have. I suppose you could have a dishwasher, couldn't he? Uh, to build it, yes, I had to use the money cheat to build it. Yep. Unfortunately, I wouldn't use. I wouldn't usually use the cheats, but yeah, I had to use money cheat in order to build this big mansion. But there's nothing that really says that I can't use the. Um, I could have just put it. I didn't realize I could do that. That's cool. Right, 
Right. And I think that'll be it for this kitchen, really. I think the kitchen's done. I really like that kitchen. I love the pots and pans. I think that's a really cool kind of touch. Right, we'll move on to his uh we'll move on to his bedroom now. We'll do his bedroom. So let's get the walls down. Right, so the bedroom, sorry about the internet connectivity guys. I am in the process of getting the internet sorted, so hopefully in the future it will be better. So I kinda like the galleon bed, that's kinda cool. I think if you had a black a black galleon bed. There we are. Put that one there. Kind of gothic sort of look. Uh, in this episode, yes, this is just a building episode, just to build the extension um, area of the um, asylum. But I have built the whole asylum before, and it is a, an asylum. Um, it is an asylum challenge that I am doing. So, but we're just taking a wee break from the asylum challenge. Uh, just so, you've, so you can see, this is the third floor, this is the second floor, and that is the bottom floor. Wow, and that's the basement. So, there's, so I suppose one, two, three, four, and then the attic. But I'm, I'm just working on this area here to get this area ready, because I've introduced a new character to the series. And if you want to see the series, then hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button as well to support the series so we can get more episodes of it. So we've got a um, bed, we've got a chest of drawers. Let's get a nice ornate mirror um, that he can have up in his room so that he can work on his charisma if needs be. Let's get some lighting up in here as well. That'll be the main thing, I think. If we get some... I don't think we should have lighting on the roof. I think we should have... I think he'd quite like lighting here. So it's nice, nicely lit. still quite dingy I quite like I quite like the kind of gothic look to this area that we've got going up here I really do I really do like it maybe we will put a light hanging down from the ceiling maybe if we put like just to kind of light in the bedroom hanging down from the ceiling lights up the room a bit I think I would like to put a big mirror above the bed. I think we can adjust the size. Oh, it hasn't adjusted the size properly. Right, so we won't do that then. Um, maybe we'll put a picture above the bed. Maybe if we get a picture. Where are we? We're here. Picture of that above the bed. So he's got something above the bed. I uh, don't think we really need to add anything else. Let's add a, let's add a different picture. Add a picture of sunflowers, or we could add that's quite a cool one. It could be like a family picture. Um, I got The Sims for Christmas, so I've been playing this since Christmas Day. Um, but obviously, I played Sim, the original Sims, when it was um, when it was out on PC. But I never really played any other ones after that, apart from Busting Out, which I had on the GameCube. But that was really it. I didn't really play any of the other Sims. Um, right, so let's get. A nice end table. We're slowly running out of money. That's the. I might need to do the the money cheat, which I don't really like doing. But so we'll put an end table there. 
Let's put another end, end table there. It's only going to be him sleeping in this bed, but there was something I saw in the kitchen under decorations which I wanted to put in the bedroom. There we are. I wonder if how big we can make that. Oh, we can make it quite big, can't we? How, we, how close can I get to the bed? There we are. Not that I'll actually do anything, but I like it. So I think that's his bedroom. I think his bedroom is done. I think he can have a kind of a um, minimal, minimalist bedroom. Let's just see if we can make this any bigger. Oh yeah. Right, bathroom now. So I think this guy likes baths, so I think he needs to have a shower and a bath. Or a hot tub. He's not going to have a hot tub. Or is he? Yeah, why not? Let's live a little. We'll put a hot tub in his bathroom. And then we can put a shower in his bathroom as well. Yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a rug put into there then. So, put. Uh, then we need a toilet. Only the best stuff for our sheriff. Although he's a bit evil, he needs um, He needs the best things, so we'll put a toilet there, we'll put a sink, let's put a towel rack, oh he needs a toilet roll rack of course, Why you'd have that so high up? Nope. Maybe I can move the toilet across a bit. Yeah, if I put the toilet right next to it, then it should be. All groovy, so let's get a mirror for the bathroom. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I'll get I'll get some rugs, don't worry. Let's get some let's get a wash basket. These ba none none of these things actually do anything. Um they just um add things to the Aesthetics to the room. So we get maybe put a towel rack up there. I don't know if you could put the folded towels inside it. Nope. Um, so let's put a towel rack up there next to the. Balafe, thank you very much for joining. Uh, maybe we put it on this side, side the, just so there's not so much. We'll get a. Oh, you're still in hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. Put the medicine cabinet up here. And maybe shower caddy as well so that he's got everything that he needs there oh that's quite cool have an LED cabinet maybe we can put the folded towels on top of the cabinet can we or can they only go on the floor 
Oh, those cab why is the cab just sticking out like that? Right, so I think that's the bathroom done. So he's got like a hot tub bath thing, toilet, sink, accessories, shower. You just need some lighting in there. Oh, that's nice of them. Right, so if we get. Maybe put some vanity lighting up. Maybe above the mirror. That will kind of light up that that section. Um, so you can put pool light just in the corner there, corner there, and then maybe have one of these hanging from the ceiling. That will light the bathroom up. Right, so that's cool. So that's the bathroom. That's his bedroom and his bathroom done. Now on to his study. Right, so his study. He needs a nice big desk in his study. So a big ornate desk, I think. Ah, that's perfect. I don't think I can use that one, though. Um, excuse me. Let's get a desk here. Perfect. And then get a nice big. Oh, I want that one. I want that one, but I can't have that one because it's unlocked. It's not locked yet. Unlock. It's not unlockable yet. So let's just get this one. Right, so he's got a, he's got like a desk there now. Um, he needs lots of bookshelves, I think. He seems like a man who would read a lot, so let's put a lot of bookshelves along here. And then... You could have um, I think he needs like another desk. Um I try and stream certainly the same as at least once a week. Um aim to anyway. Uh Valfi, I am making I'm amending the asylum slightly. Um, if you remember the Asylum Challenge, I'm adding, um, I've added a new character of a sheriff who's going to be running the Asylum. This is his living quarters that I'm making, um, so it's obviously a lot better than the Asylum. So I might actually need to do the money cheat in a second. So he's got his main desk where you can do all this writing and all that sort of stuff and then he's got his computer desk as well and I think there was a light that I saw that I wanted to put in here where is it oh, aha this one put that one there And then we could put. So I quite like these. I think he needs a. I think he needs in his study. He needs that. And then I think if we had something like. A 
sound I think if we had like classical music or something being able to play out of there that would be cool and there is a, there's a study so we've got cool to hear that cool see yeah I hope you enjoy it right so he's got a study he's got his kitchen he's got his bathroom he's got his living room this is his corridor we won't add anything in yet and this is the waiting room and this here is the um, games room slash bar etc etc so we need to add a um, I think we need to add carpet I think we like a blue carpet Yeah, we'll put blue for now. Right, so let's get what we kind of need is we need hmm where would hobbies and skills we are? So we need some money maker indulgence full level bar sandstone cowboy bar, let's get this one so if we get bar going there and then is there anything like a pool table? ooh a piano well, that, that could look quite cool, let's get my piano he can have a piano in the corner that he can sit and play even though you might not know how. Well, it's not like a pool table or anything. What's this? The tiki bar. Bunny blues. Hmm, let's get a couple of stools. Indoor activities. Is there anything here? Hmm. Not an awful lot that I can can't do. I can't get an awful lot, which is a little bit annoying. What about a fireplace? Can we get my fireplace? Yeah, let's get my fireplace. You can have if I put a fireplace here, and then I can get like a sofa or something, so you can sit in front of the fireplace and kind of just chill out, relax, enjoy his, his study with a nice drink. Might need to do the, the cheat, excuse me. Add a little bit more money. I know I shouldn't do that, but I need. I want to make this look awesome for him. Right. So if we add, so let's go to outdoor activity. Not outdoor activities. It's kids room. Uh, dining room is what I need. Where are we? Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. And we need oh do bars there. Get, get a nice long actually. A long bar instead. I prefer that one. Get some stools. I don't have a choice. It has to be done. Just in case he gets any friends over, you know how it is. Right, so lighting. So again, in here I think he needs... We'll go for... 
couple of them. So one, two, three. And what about on the windows? Can we have, because they're quite tall windows, aren't they? I think that would be quite cool on the windows, but the windows aren't Really, well, that's, that's actually not too bad. If I, oh, oh, like that. Ooh, that works, doesn't it? Go on there. Oh, it does. Oh, yes, I like that. We get that up. There we are. So sure I can't get it on that one. Can on the other side, but not on that side. What if I mm, did that, maybe move the the window along. Hmm. Can't free place them out with the window, no. Uh, maybe if I delete the window then. Delete that one there. Right, so if I get rid of this one, just move that over to there. So he's got a bar in there. I really want to put a pool table in there or something else. It's really annoying that I haven't got anything. The only thing you could do is I think you could have could be um, there is a bill indoor activities is that the only thing I can't even have that what's this one here yeah you could have this so it's like motion gaming So you could have that there, what's that one? Postcard. Skull display. Bookshelves, I think he needs some bookshelves in here as well. I think if he's, I think we do. Possibly, um, I like the building, the building's fun. I think if you, if you want to use the cheats and that, if you're happy enough to use the cheats and stuff, then I think building is fine. Um, yeah, but then I think this boring. I think just building the same things, but Sims 4 seems to keep keep me entertained so far. Look at this one, quite like that black. In there. Right, bedroom. Back to the bedroom. Back to the bedroom. Yeah, I think it's, it is very relaxing. Building. I do find it very relaxing indeed. Right, so which one should we have? Oh, like that. Like a brown one. Oh, like that. That's quite, that's quite cool. Nice big rug. There. Now, right, out into the hallway. As soon as I saw it was getting released for the consoles, I wanted it straight away. Right, let's think about getting some nice art. Something like that would be quite cool. And then maybe... Maybe if you had lots of art and Yeah, there's quite a lot of DLC for it at the moment as well. Um, I will be doing, hopefully in the future. 
Um, hopefully in the future that I will um, try and get some of the, the DLC. Um, so there's the vampire one I really want to get and there's also the restaurant one that's just come out. came out on Friday, which is the dine out one. I really want to get that. And then I would do a, a, a series on running a restaurant. Then that would be cool. Um, there is a Cats and Dogs one, but I don't know when that's coming out for consoles because it's just come out for PC, so I don't know when we will be getting that on console. So let's go... Well, yeah, absolutely. I was the same. I watched so much, so much about it. So I think if we put maybe pull one of them up, I think that was kind of cool. Up in there, so you can. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to say when and you know if and when we're going to get it, but I think it probably will be a wee while. I'm not going to hold my breath for it. Anti-balloon balloons. Pictures, pictures in the wall. Yeah. I kind of want like a statue or something, that would be cool. Where do I find that? Might be out here, wouldn't it? Uh, one sculptures. Got like a. <coughs> what I'd like would be like a knight in shiny armor. Ooh, as I say that. Yes! Perfection. That's a bit big. Right, so that is the hallway. So let's just have a quick recap. So that's his bedroom. We've got his bathroom. We've got his games room. We've got his kitchen. And we've got his study. Now we just need to build his waiting room, just for anyone who comes to visit him. You want to have something um, you want to have something somewhere where people can sit and wait to be allowed in to see him. So if we get maybe something like that. I will get rugs, alright, calm down. So I think... I think if we put one there... Another one... There-ish. Maybe put a table in the middle. That's kind of like uh, a little sort of area there, and then you could put maybe another fireplace so that it was a little bit welcoming. Maybe you put a sculpture on top of it so it was a bust of someone, maybe. And then, of course, the infamous rugs. I quite like that one to go in here. And then maybe if we get 
a rug and put it in the corridor. So it's like a... I like that one. I don't like the hearts in it. I don't think our, I don't think our guy would want... It's... Oh yes. What is the length of the corridor there? And there I think... Oh, let me just move this over a bit. I just want to control this bit. I just want to move this over slightly. There we are. And I think that's it, guys. I think we need something else. Maybe if we put like a... He hasn't got TV. That's something he hasn't got. So I think if we put a TV up here... So that people can watch TV while they're... Um, waiting. I think here we need... We need a light and then uh, not today because it's 11 o'clock at night here so not today but there will be a stream possibly tomorrow night possibly And then maybe put a chandelier. Quite like that one. Just kind of. There we have it, guys. I think our. If I just get a railing. No, if I get a railing here, and just put. Just like a wooden railing. Just like that. Just along here. And then if we get... A railing to put up there. We need to put a door in there as well, don't we? So if we get, I reckon if we got one kind of like that, which would say, you know, don't enter this room; it's staff entrance, sort of thing. Big, big bad man entrance. And there we have it, guys. So let's just take a look, quick walk through the, the asylum now, so that we know where we stand. Right, so we've got the we've got the um, we've got the solitary confinement room. So if any Sims are naughty, they go in there and they don't come back out again until I see fit. And then we've got the stairs leading down there. So if we move up the floor. We've got this corridor here, which leads down to the basement. That we that you just saw the door, the solitary confinement down there, and then if we head upstairs, we've nothing's really changed here apart from this new door that we've put in, which leads to the governor's office. I wonder if there's anything I can do sign-wise. That would be cool. I wonder if there's anything on the painting. Is there anything we can do? or something. Oh, there's not. That's annoying. Unless you have to go down the room. Wall decorations. Is there anything? Hunk. 
process. I wonder if I could put that and that would just make it like it's saying this is the yeah so there's a wee mold there on next to the door which says um, to the people this is the governor's office do not go in the governor's office it takes you upstairs to the waiting area sort of relaxing space he's got a big TV there um, and then you go through this door it takes you to this corridor here and to the left we've got the wonderful kitchen and then we've got his study and then on the other side we've got his bedroom and in this room here we've got his bathroom and then in this room here we have got his um, sort of games room but I'm going to put above the fireplace I'm going to put a I need to put another sofa. I'm going to put a TV above his um, fireplace because I want to have a TV, big TV, humongous TV, with a very elaborate black and red sofa in front of the fire so he can sit and watch the TV and enjoy the fire if he wants to and then he can have next to that he can have a a table I just want to look at something and study a second I want to see if I know they used to, but I don't think they do it anymore, and it's really annoying that they don't do it anymore. I wonder if in the dining room, if it's under anything in the dining room. Mm, no, it's annoying, because they used to do a globe bar that you could have, that would open up and have, they could serve drinks from it, but they don't, they don't have that anymore. Okay, guys, that is it. That is that they governor's house or the governor's I should say um, home and I think that looks awesome I really do I think just as a normal house that is like his living quarters it's a complete contrast to the asylum yes the asylum is elaborate um, but yeah that is his home thank you very much for watching guys this has been like a special let's be the build episode for The Sims 4. I hope you join next time when we continue on the asylum. But till then guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.